Other times, uh, and this is most of the time, I'll, I'll need to just read or do research or um, just consume information, um, going through photos and just finding something um, that, that sparks a chain reaction of, of, uh, of, uh, of events um, in my mind. Um, I like to go through a lot of my travel photos and personal photos and, and, and photos on the internet, archival footage, and, um, and I'll start sketching, I'll start drawing. So once I have uh, a solid idea, I'll start um, uh, preparing a canvas or surface to, to work on. Um, lately, I actually don't like to start with um, uh, too uh, detailed of a sketch. It's usually pretty rough and um, I'll just uh, sketch it roughly on, onto the surface and, and start painting and uh, just see what happens along the way. I, I don't plan a color palette, I, I don't do any studies, I just, I just uh, throw myself right, right into um, the process. All aspects in my painting I think are rooted in, in um, things that are happening in my life, memories of the past and, and uh, you know, aspirations for uh, the future and, and, and my hopes for what my, my work can be like. Yeah, I would say the, uh, the images, images that, that I find, um, you know, the found photos or my travel photos, uh, they're, they're all kind of, um, you know, ciphers for the internal, um, you know, imagery that's happening in my subconscious, my dreams. I don't really remember my dreams at all. So I think through this way, I'm, I'm able to sort of channel that, that part of the subconscious.